Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bolex Repair Philippines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments to your viewfinder inside when you happen to look in to the viewfinder and all the way through here and your image on the take position here where the lens would be looks off centered. It's a fairly common problem from time to time. So let's get started on that. Tools to make this repair are a micro precision screwdriver set and a spanner screwdriver. The spanner screwdriver has the middle of the head cut out as you can see at the tip of my finger. These can be purchased at uh, flea markets and any type of basic, essentially, uh, place that sells tools. Next, next you will need your micro precision screwdriver to remove the four screws at the top of the viewfinder plate. One, two, three, four. And to those of you who are new to my channel, I do leave these screws off for film students and Bolex enthusiasts who have questions. Once you remove the screws from the top of here, the viewfinder plate, simply just push up on the plate slightly and pull it forward to remove it just like so. Now, the area in question is here. We have one, two, three nuts with a screw right there. They're spring-loaded behind here. Also, you want to wear some uh, white cotton gloves or your choice of latex as to not touch the prisms here, underneath or any other place, any of the glass, even the ground glass. This is because the oils in your body and your fingers can destroy that. You'll need, as I pointed out before, the spanner screwdriver. It's got a indention in the tip of it. You can buy these pretty much anywhere. Again, if you can't find one, you can obviously make it yourself. What you're going to have to do when the image, when you're looking through the viewfinder, all the way through your lens, or even without a lens. The viewable image inside the viewfinder is crooked. It either goes to one way, the other way, up, down, or it could appear to be kind of short, maybe. It could appear to be like that. You have to take this spanner screwdriver and make the adjustments there. Let's get a close-up of that. Okay, so of course you can see the little uh, nuts right there. Little bolts, rather. Three of them. One, two, and three. You take your spanner screwdriver right here. And you have to look through the viewfinder. You've done that. It a, can be a lengthy process. You have to insert the spanner screwdriver in each one of these areas. And you take it, and you have to turn it either to the left or to the right. One down there in the side, to the left, or to the right. The next one, to the left, or to the right. And each time you do this, you have to look through the viewfinder again to see if it's centered. You can also do this with the lens on eventually make sure everything's set 
you'll know when it is. Remember, these are spring-loaded behind there. There's a screw that comes out, one, two, and three. There's a miniature bolt at the end, and in between that is a spring. Now, you're wondering, once you get it set, can these become loose again? The answer is yes. So how do you prevent that? You have to purchase yourself at the hardware store a liquid product called lock screw. You can buy it online as well, obviously. There are different grades of it. And different colors go with those different grades. What you want is you want the purple lock screw. It's for light work such as this. It's also going to protect the inside of the uh, camera right here. But it's going to, once it dries, you apply it on there. It's like in a little squirt bottle. And it's going to dry. And when it dries, it's going to harden, of course. And it's going to prevent these screws, these little miniature bolts right here, from coming undone. In case you need to make the adjustments again later, the purple lock screw is for light work and it can be removed with hand tools. In other words, when you go back in here with your scanner, your spanner rather, and you have to make the adjustments again, it's easily done. No heat needs to be applied with purple lock screw. All right? Also, take a look at this, your work when finished with your lens. Test it with your original Bolex reflex lens. That's the way you want to set it. And me, many of you know, with my uh, experimental horror film making, I use these vintage lenses with adapters to M42 to C-mount. And even after I've set it, I still look through the viewfinder and make sure everything's set here. All right? So, make sure you put that lock screw on these three screws, actually the uh, bolts, the miniature bolts, and let that dry before putting the cover back on. This adjustment can be trying and time consuming. If you get it quickly set, congratulations and pat yourself on the back. One good tip to know about this and any Bolex manual will point this out is do not give your Bolex a big shock a bang don't drop them don't hit them don't slap them around because in doing so you can break the prisms inside of here you can misalign what we just uh, what you just set if you want to go that far Although we'll point out it again, it's best to send this to a qualified technician. This can be a trying again adjustment to make in there. You can break the ground glass and in here there's a prism. This is your turret prism. It has pads securing it. And even in the front, beyond this plate. If your bullock hits a big shock, a bang, or is hit against a wall when you're walking through a doorway or something when filming, it can give you stability issues. And could also give the appearance, if this prism in the turret is not seated properly in there, can give you the, apparently, I mean, uh, basically the same type of issues. So if you make all these adjustments and you got something weird going on in your viewfinder, 
chances are your problem is, is with the turret prism. All right. Hope you've enjoyed everything in this video and learned a lot. Your spanner screwdriver sets look like this where my pencil eraser is. So that's the type of things you want to look out for. When you get these sets, you're going to have a bunch of other tools. Really, you're not going to use that much. All you need is this one. And they're not all created equal. They come in different sizes of Spanish screwdrivers. You need one for micro work. Do click that bell. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Paul Morbid of Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock Repair Philippines. See ya!